This is Deborah Johnson for Women at Halftime, and I'm passionate about helping women use their untapped skills, resources, and talents to create their ideal work and lifestyle, making a difference in their second half. Well, hello, this is Deborah Johnson, and it's great to be with you today, especially with this subject, which is very current and very applicable. Uh, As I am recording this, uh, we are being faced worldwide with a virus. And as I was thinking about this, and everybody's panicking, and they're trying to do everything to um, not only stock up on food, but protect themselves and Um, all that goes into something like this, my thoughts went back to a book I wrote called Bad Code, Overcoming Bad Mental Code That Sabotages Your Life. And in this book, I talk about viruses. So the subject today, how a malware virus is similar to a physical virus is never more appropriate And I'm going to cover five ways to protect yourself, but I'm going to relate this to a physical virus, a a computer virtual virus, as well as a mental virus. And I think you will really end up um, enjoying this this episode um, as it's so very applicable to many parts of our life. So uh, first of all, talking about my book, Bad Code, it's all about mental hacks and how similar computer viruses and hacks, they, they relate to those mental viruses and hacks because our mindset can be disrupted and interrupted with negative self-talk, extreme lack of confidence, fear, and the imposter syndrome. We are all faced with those sort of hacks in our life, or we have been at one point or another. Uh, When we talk about computer malware, that malware is software that it's, it's specifically designed to disrupt, to damage, or to gain unauthorized access to a computer system. Uh, The important thing to know about the malware is it latches on. It's not accessed by simply opening an email, but it's in downloading an attachment. That attachment then has the power to attach itself automatically to your computer system and to your files it immediately starts duplicating. So I know there's a lot of uh, fear around some of this. Oh, maybe I shouldn't open up that email. It's not from somebody I know. Just opening the email is okay, but do not download anything or click on any links if you are unsure of where it came from. Now, in the same way, a physical virus is a microscopic parasite which can infect living organisms (laughs) That's a hard one to do. Living organisms, and they can cause disease. They, just like a computer virus, they'll penetrate a cell or a physical host as a cell. Then they'll start replicating. Now, the important thing to remember here about a physical virus, as well as a computer malware virus, is they have to first attach themselves to a host. They don't just automatically appear and duplicate on their own. They, they get into a cell. They get into um, a, a living organism, and that's why they can duplicate. Now, your body can fight a virus with its antibodies, And then the antibodies then bind to the virus to mark them as invaders so those white blood cells can engulf and destroy them. And this is what happens um, when your immune system is uh, in a low, you you usually either have um, low number of those little antibodies or white blood cells you know, leukemia, some of those other uh, diseases that are, they don't have the ability to fight back anymore. Our bodies are very powerful. They are made uh, so, so intricately. There are so many different, just wonderful parts of our body um, and that we have that natural immune system that can fight things off very naturally if we take care of ourselves. 
Well, we are not so fortunate with a mental malware virus unless we build up also our mental antibodies. And that's where I'm going in this episode. Because a healthy mindset is so, so very important, especially at the halftime of life. We are hit from every side, from looking in that mirror to thinking, oh, I'm seeing, <laughs> I'm seeing more gray hairs today. Oh, it just looks dull. I'm looking older. I'm looking, I'm looking like my mom. I love my mother. My mother was, was a beautiful, beautiful woman all the way to the end. But it's a little scary when you look in the mirror and you think, oh, I'm looking like my mom now. <laughs> you just feel a little older, right? I'm sure you're with me. So it, it that positive mindset is so important. And for a healthy mindset, we need to realize our strengths. We need to recognize them, affirm them, and to recognize the dangers of malware, the dangers of what can can invade our our body, invade our mental a positive attitude. It's, you know, that disruption that will happen or to, that damage that can happen just from that, that malware. And it takes thought and it takes the process of building our confidence, realizing how important that process is. Many times we just keep going, keep going, keep going, and we're hit from all sides. And then we stop because we're frozen. We're stuck. We're just, we can't move anymore. And we don't realize how important it is to build up those antibodies, to build up those those strong, as we relate them to our body, those white blood cells. We have to have those. So I'm going to give you these these five steps on um, being able to protect yourself. And to be able to do that, our step number one is to really understand how a virus latches on. Once we understand that, especially if you can visualize that, um, we can understand that we're constantly exposed to many different elements. It, all the time. I mean, floating in the air. There are always viruses floating in the air. But a virus has to attach to something. And in the body, that's usually a cell or something like that, something, some sort of a, an ability to get inside your body. Uh, this is why with this current virus going going around, it's, you know, very important washing hands. I don't think I've ever washed my hands so many times. I'm not in the medical field. Most people in the medical field or in the food service, they're, they're used to this all, all the time. And when we are at home and we're just, you know, working around, we're, we're not as conscious of that. And I've been much more conscious and how important it is to keep those hands clean, to not touch my face, to to just the cleanliness that uh, so we're not transmitting it and how it latches on. Now, virtually, when we talk about computers, it's an email or a download. So to understand that how that virus, again, relatches on, that it can be in an email and you think you're getting an email from a well-known source. And I tell you, there, there are emails that look really, really official. I've gotten them that look very official from a bank, from PayPal. It has their logo. It has everything. And I know better. I need to go directly on my, on my um, browser, directly to the PayPal uh, website and not click that email inside because it could be a sabotage. There's There are ways that those hackers can do that. And so you need to go directly to your account and check it out. I've had messages, credit card messages that I'm, I'm low on my you know, uh, what I have left on my, on my account. And I'm thinking, I just paid it off. You're kidding. What happened? It was, I hacked. I went directly to my site and I realized that was some sort of a, a hack. They were trying to get into my account because as soon as I would click that link, going to my account, immediately 
that host could attach itself and find out all my passwords. So very dangerous to do that. You have to understand how it latches on. Now, mentally, it's a thought or a mindset, and we're vulnerable when we let our guard down. It can be our negativity. It can be the way that we, we look at ourselves every day. It's, it's so easy to just be so discouraged that it's a downward spiral here. And I'll give you some ways to build that back up. But we are very vulnerable when we let that guard down, when we get very, very low on those antibodies. So understand, again, that uh, that negativity is going to latch on to something. It's going to latch on to an event. It's going to latch on to how you feel you look. It's going to latch on to how you feel you're doing in your career. There's going to be something that it just attaches itself to, and it's going to keep duplicating if you're not careful. I am so um, adamant about this because I did write this book and it came from a direct experience. And that's what I'm going to talk about next, because that's number two, understand how a virus duplicates itself. Because once within a cell, a virus can duplicate very, very quickly. And that's kind of scary. Once, and that's why they say they have, we have these quarantine periods, and usually it's a two-week period. That's where a virus, will, you just have to let it go through. You can't have, um, you know, antibiotics and everything. They don't work on this. It, the antibiotics work on the bacterial infections, not on a virus. It's different. So you just have to kind of let it, you know, run its course and be as healthy and be um, just careful in, in many respects and, uh, treat the symptoms with, uh, virtually this happens fast. And this is why I wrote that book, bad code. And it happened with my website. I did not see it coming. I had a form that was unprotected, basically. So when you have unprotected forms, now I put CAPTCHA on everything, some sort of protection. But there are these little hackers out there that are going to come through that form. Again, it latches onto something. It's able to get inside of something, which it does. It can send that little message and attach itself onto a page. It attached itself to one page on my website and it immediately started duplicating hundreds of pages. This was on my music website. I'd had my DJ Works music website. I'd had for years, probably at that point, at least 15 years. I had been, was, was blogging through this website numbers and numbers of pages. And when I looked on the back end, I, I did enough research. I got into my, my geek mindset and I did enough research to figure out where that code was. And I found this, it was this long, long code, just scrambled, uh, characters that went on and on and on and on and on on every single page. And to be able to fix that, I had to hire a company to fix it. There was no way I had the ability to do that. And they had to salvage my content and just put a whole new clean website up. Um, so that's, that's what can happen. So putting those protections in place, I'm very aware of it. And if there's any sort of compromise, I now have a team looking for that specifically and to fix it right away. So that never, ever happens. Hopefully never happens again. Mentally, it's very hard to get out of the negativity uh, because again, that will keep duplicating, keep building over and over and over. And once you understand that, that's where you can start putting a few of those protections in place. And, but you need to understand that it can keep going. It's not going to stop unless you do something about it. And that's where our point three comes up, our, our step number three that we are on, uh, or uh, the third way to protect ourselves, is understand how to fight a virus. Because that's a very important point here. Now, for your uh, physical virus, again, I've mentioned sometimes it's just waiting it out. But also developing our own protections is important. So physically, keeping our immune system strong, good, healthy 
foods. Now, it's interesting, um, as we've been facing, as I record this, as I said, we're, we've been facing this, this virus um, that is really worldwide. And we have noticed that a lot of stores are running out of frozen pizza and the fast food, the quick-to-make foods. Well, what ingredients are in, the, in those foods? When you're thinking about developing your antibodies, I would go for the fruits and the vegetables and the natural grains, the, the whole foods, and to make sure that you've got that in place. Some of our uh, our gyms have closed down. My gym just closed down for at least another two weeks. Well, I decided I need to step up my my walk. So I will, my morning walk was, I doubled it <laughs> this morning just to be able to get in a little bit more exercise. You have to keep your bones and your circulation strong. I will add some weights to this because that's usually what I do at the gym. I add on weights and I do some different things to be able to get my heart rate up. And if we don't push ourselves a little bit, um, that's just not going to happen. So that will help build up our physical antibiotics and keep them uh, antibodies to keep them strong. Now, virtually, there are protections such as CAPTCHA on every single form, any form that comes in, very, very important, and not downloading any sort of attachment from an unknown center, uh, sender from an email, um, and always going back to the source website, which I've already talked about. So there are protections that you can put in place, and uh, having a team on hand to be able to fix anything is also good, and there are so many resources out there now. For mental mindsets here, to focus on your strengths, on your positive mindsets. You want to be realistic, but yet not negative on your own abilities and on your own personality. I think um, I love this self-effacement. I use that a lot. I kind of kid around, you know, with some of my own um, shortcomings. And they're kind of funny, you know, especially raising three sons. And I talk about, you know, well, you know, physically, this is what I, how I worked out today. And they, I always get the rolled eyes and all of that. But but I also know that I am in great shape compared to a lot of women at my stage of life. I, and no one, there is no one that ever guesses my age, which is really kind of fun. I'm not going to really share that. But, but it's really fun that way because I really do take good care of myself. And to be um, affirming on what your own abilities are. Also, I've really had to come to the realization of, you know, I have a lot of very, very strong strengths that I can use to help others. I've not worked in the corporate field. I'm a lifetime entrepreneur, but I can help so many people. It doesn't matter what field they're coming from because I know what it's like to be in the gig economy. I know what it's like to reinvent your life. I've put those steps together very successfully, and I've taught since the age of 13. This is like in my wheelhouse. So understanding what your strengths are, you are going to have your own uh, personal strengths and focusing on those and understanding the soft skills that you have at this point in your life too. Very, very important. They are so very valuable. And that I can attitude, that positive attitude, very, very important. And it will carry you through, I guarantee you. Number four, you want to commit to putting your own protections in place. And you have to take action on this. Uh, when you think about, okay, this is, this is, I understand all of this. I understand, you know, now I've got it down. I understand how a virus latches on, how it duplicates and how to fight it. But unless you commit to putting those protections in place, nothing's going to happen. It's just like starting a diet. Okay, I, I downloaded all the material. Oh, I've got all the recipes. And then you never start. You've got to take action. So physically, whether it's that diet or exercise, you have to find what works for you and how to fight back, whether it's taking uh, some of the natural supplements. There are many natural things that you can take and I'm all, all for going the natural route when you can. Strong believer in that. 
um, because that has worked for me in the past as well. I got off of some of the you know, the um, medications for allergy medications. Uh, and I went to the natural oils, the doTERRA oils. They work for me. I can take as much as I want. They are all, they're just, I'm not going to overdose on those. And they, they work. Now, find what works for you. That may never work for you. But you have to keep up those, uh, those antibiotic bodies and, and build those up in your own body. And for virtual, for your computer, even for your identity, I can't emphasize this enough to really watch and create early warning signs for a hack. Recently, my credit card was compromised and I was able to catch it right away because I saw a charge that I hadn't, I hadn't put on my card. And it looked like it was from a place I had just been. I don't know how it got hacked that way. But it, but it did. I, and I tell you, those are tricky. So you have to watch. I check my records all the time, bank and credit cards, although also for, you know, your identity. And for mental, for our mental protections, it just takes some consistent work. And that's where I'm going to go with our step number five here is to really focus on the mindset and on your mental um, Uh, health here (laughs) and uh, the viral attacks that can happen mentally. Because what you can do to protect your mindset from a a negative viral hack will really change your your life. It will help you to go forward if you're feeling frozen, if you're feeling stuck, if you are Um, if, if you're feeling closed in, trapped, that's another word for being stuck. Being committed to a lifelong learning attitude, uh, that is, uh, I read so many inspiring stories um, for people that have, that have done this, um, that have sold their business and now they're starting something new and they're learning again. They get new energy from this. How much fun is that? Um, I'm a big believer in journaling regularly. Uh, Journal all the time. It does not have to be long. Um, And keep your purpose in the forefront of your mind. And then you can create those measurable goals with your small steps that you can achieve. And the purpose that's in the forefront of my mind that It applies toward the content I am doing for personal and professional development, as well as music, is to help those who are at halftime, the halftime of their life, be able to use their skills, their resources, and their talents. Uh, There are so many things then that are just being buried or not affirmed. There are those who used to play piano that want to play again. Yes, you can. There are those who want to start a new career because they've, they've always had this dream. Yes, you can. There are those who would love to go into an entrepreneurial field. They've been in a corporate field. Yes, you can. You have to really think through uh, what it takes to be an entrepreneur. I definitely suggest that. And uh, you may need partners in that process. You probably do. It's a good idea to do that. But yes, you can, uh, and to be committed to that, um, that journaling regularly really, really helps you because you are going to face that negative language. You're going to face, you're going to face that, those times where you think, no, I can't, or it's, this is too hard, or I, I just, you know, who do people think I am? I, I'm just this facade here. I'm playing this imposter syndrome again. <laughs> like I, I put all this stuff out and are they going to really, you know, are they going to really believe me? Can I really do this? Yes, you can. If you start journaling, I would, can, I would really encourage you to start. Do it daily as possible, at least five days a week. Write one to two sentences. I have said this over and over in not only my courses, but in some of these podcasts. I would encourage you to take a 90-day challenge. I I started doing this because I had put off journaling for a while, uh, and I started again doing that journaling, and I committed to a 90-day challenge with my husband. And that 90-day has turned into 
thousands now. I do not, and I'm numbering them. I've gone through my my little books, but just one to two sentences. I write what's on my mind, or I read something, some sort of devotional, and then I comment on it, and it helps me be centered. I do it first thing in the morning, and it really helps. It helps to focus those thoughts. I get a lot of my ideas from that because I write down my thoughts. Those will be gone if I don't write them down. So I'm a strong believer in that in that journaling. So uh, leaving you with this today, I just felt like this was um, such an important uh, topic to to um, insert into these episodes. I've kind of changed things around to be able to uh, be able to do this subject specifically today because it's so relevant and so important for today's society and really what's going on in our world today. And understanding these five ways um, that we have here uh, to protect yourself. Number one, to understand how a virus latches on all types. Number two, and understand how a virus duplicates itself, again, all types. And how to fight a virus. And number four, in that commitment to putting your protections into place. And then number five, very important, what you can do to protect your mindset from a negative viral attack, because that will happen, whether it's physically, whether it's uh, virtual, or of course, whether it's then in your mindset. So I hope you've enjoyed today. Next week, you won't want to miss. We are are doing a very fun episode. Uh, My husband and I are on together, Greg, uh, with fun travel ideas that can boost your enjoyment and your business at halftime. And we're talking about everything from like the wonders of the world, but how we plan to double dip on some of our travel. Um, And, you know, we don't want to live with any regrets. We're looking forward at this point of our life to do a little bit more travel. I'm putting a lot more of my business online, so I just have the freedom to do so. And how you can be creative in your planning. And um, just just kind of fun. It's, it's a really fun episode, and I think you will really, really enjoy. So until next time, this is Deborah Johnson with GoalsForYourLife.com, DJWorksMusic.com, and I'll look forward to our next episode. Thank you for joining us on Women at Halftime. Visit GoalsForYourLife.com or WomenAtHalftime.com for many more resources, downloads, and programs, or to get in touch with me. I'd love it if you leave me a review and tell your friends. So until next time, this is Deborah Johnson signing off.